What's up, everybody, and welcome to my very first ever collector booster unboxing, with this one being Assassin's Creed for Magic the Gathering. My first time ever buying one of these, so I'm going to do my very best with opening this up. I already did peel just a tiny bit here, so that way we can get it started. But uh, yeah, this is probably the most expensive thing I've ever bought, especially when it comes to board games or card games. And uh, we're going to see what we get today. I have not actually opened up any other ones other than the uh, Play Booster bundle that I did. That video is already out. But we'll go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to do the same thing since I'm still new to Magic the Gathering. We'll appreciate the cards, see what's actually in here, look at the artwork, so on. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I saw Shroud opened up these the other day. I also watched Pay Money Wubby open up these. So uh, I kind of know what to expect. The biggest thing we'd be able to pull is potentially a serial serialized Cleopatra. Uh, Socrates. So Socrates. That guy. And then also Leonardo. Da Vinci. So that's what we're looking for here. If we can get anything, I only have one. So this is a one and done. I did not buy any others. So whatever we get here is what we got. So let's see what's actually in here. Either way, though, I'm excited to play with these because I, I almost have a full deck ready for standard. Oh, yeah, we got a new uh, a new mount, too. So new phone mount. Sorry close so it's a little bit on an angle for myself and that kind of in my way but we'll uh just get right into this so here we go first one man these were tough last time too but see what we got well i'm kind of nervous here not gonna lie i'm kind of nervous because this is the most i've ever spent on something so we'll see we got Escape detection. Okay. Reconnaissance. Trying to figure out where to actually put this. We got Alexios. Hard for me to see. A little bit too. Lydia Fry. Not bad. Templar Knight. Ooh. I don't think I've actually seen that one. That looks pretty nice. Forest. Sinu, keen eyed protector. Another foil one right there. Assassin's Trophy. I don't know if I've seen a lot of these. These look kind of uh, new to me, at least. Cassandra Eagle Bear. And then, Black Market Connections. There's one more. And the assassin token. Okay, that's also the shapeshifter token. Ooh, not too bad for the first one. Nothing crazy, but still. We've got what? Wait, does this come with 13? Something like that? I don't even know. All right, let's see if I can open up this one. And it's always hard to get a grip on these. There we go. Got it. got a mysterious creature token all right tax collector seen that one a good amount restart sequence i've also used this one this one's great return a target creature i used this the other day on Ezio while we were playing with one of the starter decks origin of the hidden ones I have seen that a decent one decent amount chao jun become anonymous i haven't actually seen that one myself exile target non-token Creature you own and the top two cards of your library in a face down pile. Shuffle that pile, then cloak these cards. They enter the battlefield tap. That's pretty cool. Fiery Islet. Avi the Allfather. There we go. That looks pretty sick. Conspiracy. Yeah, I can see it a little bit better if I. Keep it to the right side of the screen. Ezio. Damn. Some of these are pretty good. I don't have any... Um, 
any way to protect these right this second, but I do have some coming today. Some sleeves to put these in, so we'll have to do that after the video. Okay, so we got Sino Kenai Protector again, and another assassin. I think that Ezio one is actually pretty good. If I remember, I think I've seen that a few times. The little bit foil. It might be like the etched foil. I don't know. I'm still learning all that stuff, so don't mind me. But honestly, most of these cards just sit right next to me once I'm done with this. And then I uh, sort them by color and then prepare them for putting into deck. So that's pretty much my go-to. Yeah, this phone stand is so much better. Path to Exile. Great game. Exile target creature. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card and then put that card onto the battlefield tap and shuffle. Overpowering attack. Another Templar Knight. Arno Dorian. Oh, that makes me so happy that I'm getting some of these assassins. I The one I really hope I get is... Uh, the one I really want to get is Connor. But I can't pronounce his actual name. I'm so bad at it. Hidden Footblade. That's pretty cool. Enters the battlefield. Attach it to a target creature you control. That creature gains first strike until end of turn. Equip creature gains plus one and plus zero. And has haste. We've got a forest. Layla Hassan. I didn't know that she was actually... She had a card. First strike. Enters the battlefield. Whenever one or more assassins you control, deal damage to a player. Return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. That makes sense. Another assassin's trophy. Another assassin's trophy. Staff of Eden Vault Key. When Staff of Eden Vault Key enters the battlefield, put target legendary permanent card not named Staff of Eden Vault Key from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Damn. And then we got this token again. These are hollow. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, yeah, we're getting some cards I feel like I have not seen at all, especially after watching like Wubby and Shroud open up. Uh, but I mean, Shroud, I believe Shroud opened up even more. He bought 24 bucks. I can't imagine. He also bought a lot of the uh, the Fallout ones too. But uh, yeah, we're only getting one here, chat. So, or YouTube gang. So just, yeah, appreciate what we got, you know? Brotherhood Headquarters. That's pretty cool. Reconstruct History. Alexios, Demos of Cosmos. This is the, I forget what these are technically called. It's it's like the promo or not promo ones. That's pretty cool. Murder, classic. Destroy target creature. Mountain. The Jackdaw. That's really cool. The Spear of Leonidas. I believe this one was actually pretty good for a lot of uh, potential gameplay. Whenever a quick creature attacks, choose one. Bull Rush. It gains double strike until end of turn. Create Phobos, a legendary 3-2 red horse. I think I actually might have pulled that one in my last rest in peace. I believe this is a reprint, if I'm correct. Another Spear of Leonidas. This one's definitely an etched one, you can see. It's a little bit darker. And then Assassin Token and Curious Creature. And nothing nothing too, too crazy, but still. Some unique ones, some ones that I'm happy with already. So I do have, so after this one, I do have one more play booster box that I bought. So I will be doing that. It's probably not going to be like back to back again, but one of these days I'll open that one again too. So hidden blade. I, I don't think I've actually seen this one. When I the, the battlefield, attach it to a target creature you control. If that creature is an assassin, it gains death touch until end of turn. Cool. Hook blade. There's another one. When it enters the battlefield, attack it attached to a target creature you control. Equip creature gets plus one plus zero. As long as it's your turn, equip creature has flying. I was gonna say it probably has flying too. 
Loyal Inventor, we've seen a lot of these. Lydia Fry, another one. We gotta get Jacob Fry. Propaganda, controllers can't attack unless you, unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you? Ah, uh, that seems pretty good. Planes, Sword of Light and Shadow. The mythic one. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection white from white and black. Whenever equipped creature gain deals combat damage to a player, you gain three life and may return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That seems pretty good. Caduceus Staff of Hermes. Equipped creature has life link as long as you have 30 or more life a quick creature gets plus five plus five and has indestructible and prevents all damage i mean putting this in a commander deck makes complete sense because you're almost always at plus 30 oh sigurd jarl of ravensthorpe that's pretty cool too hover of darkness and there's the battlefield Choose a target creature or creature type. Creatures of that chosen type have fear. I'm actually not sure what fear does. So that one I would have to look into. Let me actually take one more look again at uh, Sigurd. I didn't actually read it. I saw Vigilance and then Boast. Put a lore counter on target saga you control or remove one from it. Whenever you, you put a lore counter on a saga you control, put plus one, plus one counter on top of one other target creature. Nice. The one thing that I, I notice with a lot of starter decks, especially because that's what we've been playing with uh, since we haven't actually played with any custom decks now that I'm like slowly getting into it. Um, the one thing I notice is a lot of them don't come with like legendary creatures except for one or two. Now, I don't know what's most common for how many like legend legendary creatures you would have in a deck, but um, but yeah. That's one thing that I'm trying to kind of, even in Magic Arena, I'm trying to become more familiar with that too. But anyways, Postal Piracy, Revelations of Ezio. As this saga enters and after your draw step, add a lore counter. Destroy target creature or target tapped creature and opponent controls. Whenever an assassin you would control attacks this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, return. Target assassin creature from your graveyard to the battlefield with an additional plus one counter. Pretty cool. Brotherhood Regalia. I've seen this one a lot. This one's pretty good. Creature has ward and is an assassin in addition to other types and can't be blocked. And the cost for it is very cheap. Jay Cormac. Classic. I actually played uh, this Assassin's Creed game for the first time. Assassin's Creed Rogue. I think it was for the first time like three or four years ago. I never played it uh, before then. Reconnaissance. Planes. Abstergo Entertainment. Interesting. The land card. Exile Abstergo Entertainment. Return up to one target uh, historic card from your graveyard to your hand, then exile all graveyard. Black Market Connections. <gasps> chat oh oh my god i do not have any oh my god serialize socrat socrates 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 i got it right 380 out of 500 we got it oh my this is the only pack i've got all right let me go ahead and just gently. There it is. It's in Greek too. I was not expecting that, but we got it. 380 out of 500. Serialize Socrates. We go ahead and place him right. You know what? I don't even know where to put him. I do have a sleeve. Hold on. I do have one sleeve actually. I forgot. I do have some. Hold on. Just admire it.
All right. Wow. You know, I did not expect it at all. I did not expect one at all. Let's go ahead and see that. It's probably the most... And I'm not even sure what this is going for at the moment. I can't really check unless if I just pause the video. Which, honestly, let's go ahead and check. I'm going to pause and then unpause in just a second. You won't even notice. Okay, I am back. So from looking into it, it looks like that right now, it's currently listed for about $1,200. There's another one for $1,500, but recent sales are for $650. So not too bad. Not too bad for the first one ever opening. Oh, no. This is my first time opening one, and I get this. Well... I guess uh, we'll see if luck is on our side for the rest of these. I'm actually going to put this off to the side right over here and be very gentle with that one. Sorry, Rebecca and Sean. We got a little bit sidetracked there. All right. We got an etched foil there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like, yeah, I'm so nervous now. I don't, I don't even know what, what I'm going to do with it. Like, I don't know if I'm just going to play with it. I don't know if I'm going to just actually potentially sell it. I don't, I really don't know. I am not sure at all. So, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. All right. We continue. We move on, try to remain calm and we continue. So, towering viewpoint. The Acer Escape Valhalla. Mortify. Arbaz Mir. It's pretty cool. Xiao Jun. Jun. I don't know if I'm correct. Uh, I'm correctly saying that or not. Another Sean and Rebecca. Gotten those a decent amount. Ooh, Mjolnir Stormhammer. When Mjolnir enters the battlefield, attach it to a target legendary creature you control. Whenever equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and put a stun counter on it. Then Mjolnir deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of tapped creatures that opponent controls. Spear of Leonidas. Got that one again. The Jackdaw. And the Assassin Token. Yeesh. We still got six more packs to go. Is it six more? Oh, wait, no. Five more. What? Oh, boy. I, uh... I'm, I'm still, like, going off that. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That is not... You know what I just learned the other day, too? Sorry, I'm struggling with this next one. I'm struggling. What I learned the other day, too, I had no idea. And I don't know if it's like just if it's public information or what, but I found out that next year, Assa or not Assassins, Magic the Gathering is doing a crossover with Marvel and Final Fantasy. Oh, I'm absolutely going to be there day one for that, too. But, anyways, back to it. Address to you. Shea Cormac again. That was pretty cool. It's a different style. Palazzo Archers. Classic. Roshan. We got a ton of those from the Play Booster. Assassin Initiate. Mountain. Evie Fry again. A little bit of different. Partner with Jacob Fry. When this target creature... Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Jacob into their hand from their library, then shuffle. Do we get though? Does it come with Jacob Fry? What if I don't have Jacob Fry? Desynchronization. Avi the All Father. Again. As indestructible. As long as there are four or more historic cards in your graveyard. And Sigurd Jarl of Ravensthorpe again. Nice. This. Yeah, I'm going to. I am going to. Hold on, hold on, a sec. Oh no, oh, everything that could go wrong is going wrong. I am going to sleeve a lot of these 
Uh, but I'll just do it after, right after we're done here. Any mythics that I got that are unique, like the, like this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve. But I mean, that's probably the only serialized we'll ever get. That's probably it, right there. By the way, if you guys are 20 minutes in and you're still watching, or if you came just for the serialized one, any likes do help out a ton. Uh, I've been enjoying doing this. I mean, this is kind of just something I was going to open these anyways. And I said, you know what? I might as well just record this. Because why not? It's not going to hurt any. Propaganda. Become anonymous. Eagle Vision. Shea Cormac again. Arbaz Mir. My wife was playing with this card. Because it comes in the starter deck. But we played it every single time. It's when a historic permanent enters the battlefield. We were doing a non-token permanent. So every single time she would pay, play something that would be a permanent, she would deal one damage to each opponent and gain one life. It wasn't until probably the next game, we realized that it said historic, which if I'm testing my knowledge here, artifact, uh, saga, and Enhancement, I think it is, is the third one. It has to be one of those. Island. Cover of Darkness. Oh, oh. Layla Hassan, nice. The borderless one, they're pretty cool. Eevee Fry again. Come on, we gotta get Jacob. Oh, and there's one more of the tokens. Not bad, not bad. All right, we got three more. Oh, I really don't even know what to do with that card that serialized. But we'll figure it out. Hidden Footblade. Smoke Bomb. Ooh, there's something's feeling a little thick in here. Guess we'll find out. Terminate. It can't be regenerated. Damn. Arbaz Mir. Axe Collector again, etched. Planes. Royal Assassin. That one's pretty cool. Destroyed tapped, uh, target tapped creature. Scalibur, Sword of Eden. Leah Pat, oh my God. I, I saw this for a sec, I was gonna, I mean, this is still pretty good. This is still pretty good. But I saw it for a second and I was like, dude, oh my God. If we got a serialized Cleopatra, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I would do. Honestly, if, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to sleeve this one. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one counter on each uh, of up to two other target creatures. Whenever a legendary creature with counters on it dies, draw a card for each counter you, on it, you lose two life. Sorry, Bayak. A little bit of a, a spoiler there. You know what? While we're at it. There's an etched one, and then there you go. I'll go ahead and sleeve this one. I should have these at the ready. <laughs> have them at the ready. I And then I have my Assassin's Creed ones coming later today, too. But nice. Too bad. Put it right next to Socra Socrates. Socrates. I have my sleeves upside down. All right, there we go. Two more. Two more. Will you have something? I'm summoning you, Ezio. Connor, please. Somebody. Also, Hatham Kenway would be a cool one, too. Come on. Got to be something here. We got to have something here. Let's find out. The Assassin Gauntlet. Why is that actually? That looks like the Infinity Gauntlet right there. That looks so obtuse. When Assassin's Gauntlet enters the battlefield, attach it up to one target creature. You control tap all creatures. Target opponent controls. Equipped creature gets plus one and has whenever this creature deals combat damage, draw a card and then discard a card. Okay. Roshan Hidden Magister. A little bit of a different one. Adewale. Nice. We got him in, I think, the play boosters. 
Ezio Barash Novice. Well, that he, we got him too. Assassin Gauntlet again. Forest. Sigurd. Spear of Leonidas. Mary, Reed, and Anne Bonnie. That's pretty good. Oh my god, I was about to freak out again. And then that's another etch. So then, okay, I'm starting to see the pattern here. Now that I, I'm starting to be towards the end of this. Leave that one out. I, maybe I should start doing it like that. Oh, oh. This is where I take the mythic one and throw it off the side. All right, final one. What will we get here? What will we get? I'm nervous to open the final one. Let me just pull it. But yeah, again, uh, if you guys are enjoying this, leaving likes really help out. Plus, I mean, the end, if these end up doing well down the line too, they kind of, I mean, in a way they could eventually pay for themselves. So, the better these videos do, the more boxes I end up picking up and play with. Murder. All right, final one. The Fall of the First Civilization. You and a target opponent each draw two cards, exile target artifact, and opponent controls. Each player chooses three non-land permanents. They control, destroy all other non-land permanents. Distract the guards. That's funny. Wait, that's actually... Sorry, I'm, I'm bad at spoiling the bottom. Create 311 white human rogue creature tokens. Adewale again. Monastery raid. I have not actually seen... You know what? This, next one's a swamp. I need to stop moving on before I read the cards. Free running X. Exile the top two cards of your library of those spells. If this spell's free running cost was paid, exile the top... Oh, okay, from your library instead, you may play the exiled cards until the end of your turn. Swamp. Edward Kenway. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each tapped assassin pirate. Crystal Skull Isu Spyglass. That one's pretty good. I've actually seen this uh, a lot. I forget if I got this in the play booster one. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play historic lands and cast historic spells from the top of your life. That's crazy. That's actually kind of insane. Being able to look at your library top card. Man, that's why. Now I see why it's good. Abstergo Entertainment. What's the next one? Mary Reed and Anne Bond. Okay, yeah, I was I was I lost count. There it is. That is all of them, but some heavy pulls. I'll go ahead and put some of these out again. Some of the other ones, definitely the heaviest of them all. The champion with it being the serialized Socrates. Socrates, Socrates, Socrates. And then what else do we have? Honestly, a lot of these other cards. So this was, like I said earlier, this was my first time ever opening a collector's bundle. Um, so I am going to go through for the mythics, see like if there's any high cost for some of these. I'm just curious, honestly. I don't know if I would ever sell any of these. I don't know if I would also collect them forever. But just as somebody who is getting into magic still, we'll see, I, I, who knows? I have no idea, but either way, I would call this a success for my very first one. And if you guys enjoyed it, leaving likes help out a whole ton. Uh, I do have one more box for the play boosters. So I will be doing this one in a separate video. Uh, probably not going to do it right now. I'm going to get ready for dinner, but I will do it next. So for now, thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. Leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in next. Peace.